how to use NanoBanana, the best image editor with AI developed by Google DeepMind. In this tutorial, I want to show you 20 professional use cases to make the most of this tool, which, besides being free, is very easy to use and generates incredibly fast results of the highest quality. To the point of surpassing the capabilities of Photoshop, which is the flagship program for image editing and even improving on other AI editors like ChatGPT. So without further ado, let's look at these 20 functions of NanoBanana. But before we get to that, if you're new here and you're interested in new technologies applied to visual arts, I recommend you subscribe to the channel and very importantly, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Let's go with the use cases. I have this image of a boy standing and the first function would be to add elements. I asked NanoBanana to add medieval armor and here we can see the result. As you can see, it's not just a collage, but it's perfectly integrated into the scene. You can notice it, for example, in the light sources. The main one comes from the left, but it also recreates very well on the armor the pink and blue reflections from the environment, something that in Photoshop would take quite a bit of work, aside from adjusting the armor to the boy's anatomy. The following basic function, subtract elements. We have a photograph like this of a square where people are walking, and by using the subtract elements function, we can remove all the people from the scene so it looks clean like a postcard. This is something we can do with Photoshop using the generative fill function, but it requires selections. And with Nano Banana, it is automatic. Let's move on to the third function. We have this elderly lady in her living room, and using the background change function, we can place her in a different setting without altering her posture. In this case, in a park. If you notice, once again, it's not just a collage, but it has been correctly integrated by adjusting the tones and lighting. But if we don't want to maintain the posture, but rather adapt the character according to a different action, we have the option to change the context. In this case, it has respected the dog, the same breed, anatomy, spots, but it has modified the posture and added accessories like the aviator hat and placed it in a small plane. Something very complex that this application can solve in a matter of seconds. The next function would be, given the photograph of a character, like in this case of this boy, we could age or rejuvenate. In this case I ask to reinterpret him as a mature man, and as you can see, the result is quite coherent. It is consistent with the anatomy and expression, it has even respected the hairstyle, clothing and background, and has added wrinkles, grey hair and other useful aging effects. Again, it saves us many hours of work in programs like Photoshop. But let's look at other functions that are infinitely more complex, almost impossible to edit manually, such as changing materials. In this case, I asked it to edit the banana while keeping the entire environment as if it were made of glass. But we can go further. I have this image of a boy, and I tried giving it a rusty metal texture. I asked it to apply it on the model as if it were a statue, and this is the result. Very interesting. I find it amazing how well it recreates the textures and how it adapts to the shapes of the original model, also respecting the environment and the lighting of the scene. Next. Here we have a scene of a rural landscape, and we can easily change the time of day as if it were a nighttime scene. As you can see, it respects the setting. It's not just a tonal change because we can see, for example, that the cast shadows have been removed and the street light and the lights in the house windows have been illuminated. It even added the moon in the background. Otherwise, the angle of the photo and all the elements remain consistent. The following use case is especially useful for interior decoration and involves redesigning according to an instruction. In this case, I asked for this bedroom to have the appearance of a child's room for a girl with decorative elements and a predominance of pink and purple tones. The following feature is especially interesting for experimenting with artistic styles. I asked it to interpret this photo in an expressionist style, and we see that the model and the pose remain the same, but with that appearance of very thick paint with energetic and loose strokes. Similarly, we could interpret it with any other style, or even combine several. In this case, I asked to interpret the reference photo with a surrealist painting style, and with psychedelic touches. And before continuing, if you are enjoying the video, you can leave me a like, so it has greater visibility on the platform. Thank you very much. We continue with more complex functions like this one, which involves adapting weather conditions to a scene. In this case, the landscape is wintry. 
adding snow and flakes falling from the sky. As you can imagine, not easy, almost impossible to recreate with traditional editing. Another very interesting function, we can provide it with photographs of different people, in this case a man on the street and a woman in an indoor space and combine them coherently in the same scene. In this case, I asked it to place them together walking down the street, and as you can see, it places them in the same space, matches the lighting, respects each one's morphology, even the clothing. Everything is perfectly integrated and it doesn't look like a collage at all. Similarly, uh, as we have done with people, we could also do with objects. In this case, by uploading four photographs of elements of different nature, and Nano Banana integrates everything perfectly into the same scene, something that may seem simple but is not if we consider that it has changed the perspective of the objects, the same lighting, shadows cast on each other, and so on. Next function. Given a very damaged photograph, like this old one, we could restore it with the best quality. With a simple request, it has removed all the scratches, creases in the photo, stains. It has also removed the grain noise effect, and now it looks perfectly clear with much more sharpness and has even balanced the tones quite well for greater contrast. And the next thing we can request for a photograph that is in black and white or sepia is to colorize it. In this case, we have added a photographic color. This is an automatic function with AI, which Photoshop had also added in one of its latest versions, but we can see that it is very deficient compared to what Nano Banana achieves. Given an image, in this case of a lighthouse at sunset, we can extend it beyond its limits, which is known as outpainting. As you can see, it perfectly maintains the style of the image, in this case photorealistic, and is consistent with the lighting and elements. In this case, it has added more land with rocks, sea and even sky with clouds and some birds. It is not a unique function, we have it in other applications like Midjourney, DALL-E or even Photoshop in what it calls generative expansion, but I find it particularly useful for photographers and designers. We continue with a feature that I love, and we're going to try it with this photograph. It's about a girl in the sea with a pink float, and we can change the photographic angle. In this case, I asked for the photograph to be taken from above, and here you can see that the main character maintains the same posture, with the same elements, same lighting, but seen from a different perspective. The next function involves modifying a person's appearance to characterize them as if they were of another race or even a fictional species. In this case, I asked it to interpret the man as if he were a fantasy orc, and as you can see, it has changed the skin tone, added elements like tusks and pointed ears, but maintained the overall appearance, posture, attire and environment. And the next function would be uh, from an image and a sketch that we provide, like this one, which we may have drawn by hand, we can apply this change of posture. As you can see, it has respected the same illustration style, the appearance and proportions of the original character, and placed it in the same environment, simply raising the arms and positioning the left leg as we indicated in this posture. You can imagine the applications this can have, for example, for creating comics or placing a model in a specific position for an advertisement. Let's move on to the next function, very useful for designers which would consist of providing our logo and a reference image to integrate it into surfaces like posters, signs, or even clothing, respecting the texture of the support, the perspective, the lighting, and the effects. We see here how it has perfectly integrated the logo, uh, applying the reflective metallic effect with embossing from the original photo. And here I have done another test, just with the isotype of this channel. Uh, for the next function, I used a pencil sketch of a rat. And what we can do with Nano Banana is turn it into a photorealistic looking image. In this case, it has respected the proportions and posture of the animal and has even perfectly recreated the fur and other textures, placing it in a coherent environment. In this way, we can take our art further as creative directors, turning our sketches into realistic images that we could then animate. On this channel we have seen and will continue to see many tools for generating videos with AI. We have reached 20 functions, but here I leave you one more as a bonus, also related precisely to animation.
Here, I have a character of a fox with a 3D appearance generated with AI. And Nano Banana allows us to generate a presentation with various views, maintaining consistency in proportions, features, and visual style. Here, for example, I have made a model sheet with four views of the character. Front, back, left profile, and right profile isolated on a white background. With this information, we could move to a 3D object format to then print it as a physical figure. Well, these have been the 20 or 21 features of this video for editing images with Nano Banana. I hope you liked the video. You can leave your comments below, I always read and respond to them. See you in the next video.